anytime there's resistance during any escalation, it's going to be harder to get to the next step of the escalation. So ideally, if the escalation is done flawlessly, there's never any resistance. Hypothetically speaking, if you brought the girl home or you were trying to bring the girl home, in the process of bringing the girl home, she said, okay, yeah, I guess like I'll go, but hey, just so you're aware, like I'm not doing any of that stuff. Don't get any expectation, blah, 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 blah. The girl made a little bit of a statement. I wouldn't call that heavy resistance, but it was a little bit of resistance. And I could see that popping back up later on. And this is why you're gonna start to see the interaction as a whole, because you need to start to see where the girl's at and how on it is and what her vibe is like. Because a girl like that, she probably actually needed reassurance before you even brought her home. There was a girl I closed one time from a poll and I was gonna bring her home. We were actually going to go get food nearby the house. And because I knew it wasn't on to the point where I could just bring her home. So we got dropped off near the spot. We went to go to 7-Eleven actually to pick up some drinks and there was like a pizza spot nearby that actually wasn't open. So I knew in that moment we were gonna have to go back to my apartment. And if I would have tried to just bring her right in there, I know for sure there would have been resistance on me trying to bring her in there. And if there's resistance there, even if you get her inside, once you start escalating, there's gonna be more resistance, right? So before I brought her in there, I, I told her, hey listen, I'm tempted to like bring you upstairs, but I just wanna let you know before, if we do go up there, like there's zero expectation. I'm not trying to do anything like that. I literally just wanted to keep the night going because I'm genuinely having fun spending time with you and connecting. Okay, so we could go up there, but just, just to let you know, like nothing's going on like that, okay? I brought it to her first. I played that card first. I'm always the one that plays that card first. I'm always the one that pulls back on the escalation first. I'm always the one that pulls away the kiss first. I'm always the one that tells the girl, stop doing blank because I'm thinking blank. I'm always the one doing that. If you're never the one doing that, the girl is always in the driver's seat. The girl is always the one saying, okay, you can keep going. Up, oh, stop there. Okay, good boy. Keep going. Up, oh, nope, stop there. Good boy, okay. No, hey, I told you don't go beyond that part. She's the one running the interaction in terms of escalation. But here's the thing, if you're the one that's doing it and you're the one that's slowing it down, giving her reassurance when needed or actually telling her to calm down or pulling back, breaking away the kiss, diving deeper into comfort or connection, she's gonna feel secure enough to go into the next step. And that's oftentimes what you need to have in place before we get to the bedroom because a lot of you dudes rush to get the girl into the sex location and then you start going into the escalation but there's resistance. It's not necessarily the way you went about the escalation there, it's like she wasn't ready to do that. She doesn't feel comfortable enough. And part of that is the way you go about bringing her home. Part of that is the way you go about creating that connection. Part of it is being the one that breaks it off a little bit, that pushes her away a little bit, that challenges her a little bit, so she feels the need to pursue you more. And when she feels the need to pursue you more, that also translates into the escalation. The girl's gonna be reciprocating on me during the escalation. The girl's gonna be escalating on me a little bit. That's important because if it's just me touching, take off this, remove this, touch here, I'm always pushing and pushing, and that always gives her the opportunity to, to stop it at any time, right? So there's a lot of pieces to the escalation, but I think in general, being the one that stops the escalation at almost every time, pushes her away, challenges her verbally or like actual, even like physically, I'll push the girl away and be like, wait, what? Okay, so challenges, pushing away, stopping the escalation, and focusing more on actually creating comfort and connection and leading her around in a way that makes her feel safe and secure. A girl cannot be aroused when she's not relaxed. It goes relaxation, then arousal. The girl needs to feel attracted enough to come home with you, but she also needs to connect with you enough to feel relaxed around you. Like if there was a complete stranger in your apartment, you would not feel at ease. You just wouldn't because like your survival mechanisms like triggered. So a girl that doesn't fucking know you and she just comes into your apartment, Especially when she already told you like, oh, by the way, this isn't gonna happen. Dude, she's not relaxed. Especially when you start making out and you start, oh, let me touch here, let me take this off, let me do this. Like, dude, she's not relaxed. Not enough to the point where she could actually get fully aroused. And if she's not fully aroused, well then it's just me being the thirsty PUA, gotta get the lay. 
uh, 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 uh. It's not gonna go anywhere. Or if it does, it's gonna lead to buyer's remorse or it's gonna lead to a hard resistance, which could be problematic for, for not only the rest of the night, but even date two or date three. A lot of it is going slower on the first two thirds of it to give her the reassurance, the trust and the security in place that she can actually calm down and relax. And that's what's ultimately gonna lead to arousal on the back end. Everything I said, that was kind of like a, a bigger zoomed out look at the process and what kind of needs to be in place. And then as you guys come to calls and stuff, we dissect small little instances. We dissect little sound bites. I show you certain things you could say. Well, we break down an escalation process. And over time, through your reference experiences in the coaching, you can start to formulate the bigger structure to this thing and, and you, you get a better sense of the vibe. Some girls, you'll bring home, they were into you, they already liked you, they feel secure around you for whatever reason, and it goes all the way. Other girls, they're more reserved. It's the girl being reserved, plus you not giving her the security and the, the safety and the trust that she needs to open up. Even the shy reserved girl will open up and get aroused. And some of these girls are more naughty and freaky than the other girls are. They just need the right things in place, the right precaution, precautionary steps in place that takes the right dude to unlock that code. And if he can do that stuff, he, he could get that girl very turned on. I've closed shy, reserved girls. I mean, maybe it was a longer date, but like, you know, first date, we ran like a five hour date, you know, and by the end of it, I had this girl like opening up, saying like freaky, naughty shit. And you would have never even expected something like that in the beginning of the interaction. But the reality is, is that they know that they have this side of them. They're just concerned about judgment. They don't feel comfortable or confident doing it. So they really need someone that they could trust, that they could connect with, that feels like this dude's not gonna judge me. I feel comfortable enough around him. I feel really good vibe and energy from him to the point where he has demonstrated to me I could behave this way and I know he likes it too. That's another thing is like, look dude, she's not gonna be a freak around you early on. She's not gonna sleep with you early on if she thinks that you're gonna judge her for it. Like you dudes are worried about getting a rejection. The girl is like worried about acceptance, rejection, judgment, all of these things times 1000. And that's why this is a fucking art form, dude. It's not just like say this one line and you do it. It's like, it's all calibrated. It's all calibrated on the girl, her experiences, her vibe, everything about her that you're gonna slowly connect with her on to get her to open up. You know, And it's a beautiful thing when you can connect with a girl like that, even if it's the first night, man. There are girls that I dated long term that we ended up having an epic night the first night. And then there's other girls that it took a long time to get to there. Both of them ended up being really good, but either way, there's no judgment. So if it doesn't go well first night, second night, you shouldn't feel butthurt or pissed off if the girl doesn't wanna fuck you first night. And you shouldn't feel like a failure if the girl doesn't wanna fuck you first night either. Could take a while, dude. But what's important is you're going out you have leads coming in.